And joining me now is Rick Carr. Rick, welcome back. It's a pleasure to be here. Rick, so what's the latest on the GPS tracking systems? Well, they've expanded it to a lot of lines. Um, first of all, they replaced the more expensive old system on 34th Street with the cheaper new one. Mm -hmm. And it's on about 50 lines, bus lines uh, across the city right now. The majority of those, 29 of them are on Staten Island. So Staten yeah. Island's pretty well covered at this point. Why Staten Island? It's easy to do it there. You don't have canyons and things like that. The yeah. other thing about Staten Island is it's probably the borough that's most dependent on using buses. Uh -huh. There are no subways. Uh -huh. So how are people supposed to use this tracking system? Well, well, there are uh, websites that you can go to that have the data for the buses that are tracked. There are also applications out there that you can use. You can also text message. There's a system that lets you send a text message saying, I'm at, on this bus line at this stop, when's the next bus coming, and it'll send a text back. So you don't even need to have a smartphone, actually. You can just do it with a plain, old-fashioned cell phone. And why don't we have, at this point, uh, uh, displays, you know, tracking displays or monitors at bus stops like there are in some subway stations? Part of the issue is that it's just really expensive to, to keep those, to maintain them, to make sure that they're not being vandalized, to connect them across the city. I mean, when you think of the size of the city, that's thousands of these things that would have to be out there. Secondly, most bus stops in New York City aren't actually shelters. I mean, if you go to a place like London, they're in shelters. Here right. they aren't. They'd be exposed to the elements. The third thing is the MTA made sort of a strategic decision. They said a lot of people have smartphones. Almost everybody has a cell phone, we can get the data to people that way and not have to spend the money. So when are we going to have these tracking systems on all the uh, bus lines? It's probably going to be a couple years. The MTA is saying end of 2013 uh, for a lot of the stuff in Manhattan and the Bronx. That's kind of the next frontier. They're trying to start to roll stuff out in Queens sooner than that. So next couple of years. And, and beyond that, what's at the furthest frontier of well, transportation technology in the city? I think the key thing is going to be getting the subway information as it rolls out across all the subway lines in the city integrated with the bus information, which would allow you to have an application that would say, if you leave now, you'll be able to get the bus to the subway, the train will be there right away to integrate the whole thing better. Oh, that's great. And when is that going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> all right. All right, Rick. Thanks so much. You're welcome.